It's Bolivar Watch Time. Time for Bolivar and more than 17,000 authorized Bolivar jewelers to bring you from New York City. And away we go. Ladies and gentlemen, there'll be music in the Rue de la Paix and dancing in the Champs-Élysées because the Cramdens and the Nortons are there. Gay Paris becomes even gayer as the honeymooners make it their first stop in their musical trip around the world. They're coming here from Paris, to Paris, to Paris. They're coming here and everything must be just right. The sweet it must be ready, be ready, be ready. The people from America arrive tonight. Annette, Babette, Colette, Suzette, you must put out the very finest linens you can get. Yvonne, Yvette, Mignon, Nanette. Hurry, 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 because they're very, very rich. They're rich, they're rich. You say they're very rich. Oh, look at the money. To Paris, to Paris, they're coming soon and everything must be just right. The sweet it must be ready, be ready, be ready. The people from America arrive tonight. André. Oui, monsieur. Marcel. Oui, monsieur. The food it must be ready and the service magnifique. Maurice. Oui, monsieur. François. Oui, monsieur. The fill the room with flowers and be sure you do it quick. Antoine, Philippe, Robert, Pierre. Hurry, 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 because they're very, very rich. They're rich, yes, they're rich. We like it when they're rich. They're coming to Paris, to Paris, to Paris. They're coming soon and everything must be just the right. The sweet it must be ready, be ready, be ready. The people from America arrive tonight. Hurry, 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 but they're very, very rich. They're coming to 
Paris, to Paris, to Paris. They're coming soon and then they say, well, it's okay. The speeches must be ready. Be ready, be ready. The people from America, the people from America are coming to Paris. On behalf of La Belle France, we welcome you. Well, on behalf of Brooklyn, we thank you. Attendez, mes enfants. What's the matter with them? Gonna rain? Uh, monsieur, you see, they are expectant for the big tip. Oh, uh, uh, tell me, what's the uh, biggest tip they ever got? Only last week, monsieur, a very rich American, he gave them each $50. $50? Well, I guess that'll tide them over for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can uh, dismiss the group now. Allez, vous mes enfants. You know who they remind me of? The June Taylor girls back in the States. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, this, monsieur, is our very finest suite. Many famous people have stayed here. Is that so? No kidding. Oui, monsieur, Napoleon Bonaparte himself has slept here. Well, let me tell you something. He wouldn't sleep here tonight because Ralph here snores up a storm. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, it's not what we're used to, but I think we can get along in here. Ralph. You see, uh, we're used to much better than this. You're <laughs> used to much better? Yes. <laughs> you see, uh, back in America, we use a suite like this for our servants. <laughs> You use a suite like this for your servants? Yes. You must have a great many servants. Well, we have a cook and a, a scrub woman and a laundress and a valet and a butler and a dishwasher. <laughs> and uh, you have brought them all with you? Yes, he did. Pleased to meet you. Madame. <laughs> great kidder, my wife. <laughs> you dirty. <laughs> If there is anything else you should require, monsieur, I am at your service. Well, we don't need you now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Madame. Oh. Oh. Madame. Oh. <laughs> Messieurs. Au revoir. And a uh, la femme to you. <laughs> Dad, you always have to make a fool of yourself. What do you mean, me make a fool of myself? What about that there, uh, Jean Sablon with all the <laughs> hand kissing and the uh, heel clicking and everything? Boy, that's what I call a real cornball. You can say that. Ralph, again. he is not a cornball. He's continental. Continental? Are you kidding? That's all an act. Anybody can do that. Oh, anybody can do it? Yeah. I certainly wouldn't mind, Ralph, if you would treat us like that once in a while. You want a little portion of that stuff? <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Well, much times. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind your laughing. Now, come on. If we're going to go sightseeing, let's get dressed. Come there on, we go. Come on. All right? Oh, I want to make a call. Hello? Hey, listen, will you tell the bellboy to bring me up a couple of carnations? Yeah. Thank you. Mergy. <laughs> hey, Alice, there's a knock on the door. All right, I'll get it. Just a minute. Just a moment, just a moment. We didn't order anything. There must be a mistake. Compliments of the management. Crepe Suzette. Oh, hey, Trixie. Huh? Trixie, come on out here. Look. Oh. Crepe Suzette, compliments to the oh. management. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Looking look at that. Oh, don't you love these? Yes. Fire! Fire! Don't worry, Fire. 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 Good thing I think fast in an emergency. That could have burned the whole hotel down. That's right. Take that thing out of here. Get out of here. Ralph. What? 
Those were crepe Suzettes. I don't care what started the fire. <laughs> Ralph, crepe Suzettes are supposed to be on fire. They are French pancakes. Supposed to be on fire? Oh, honestly, Ralph, how is it you always manage to do everything wrong? All right, all right, so I made a mistake. That's the difference between you and I, Alice. Whenever I make a mistake, you embarrass me, but whenever you make a mistake, I don't embarrass you. And just what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. How about on a boat? At the end of every meal when they brought the bowl of water around with the lemon in it. Did you drink it like the rest of us? No, you stuck your hands in a plate with the lemon. <laughs> I didn't say anything about that, did I? All right, Ralph. All right, if you'll forgive me, I'll forgive you. You're well, forgiven. All right. So much for the crepes, Susan. Yeah, right. come in. Oh, that's the guy with the phone. Oh. You ordered a cottage since Thank here. you. Hey, uh, you got any money? I ain't got any money. You're the guy that's holding all the money. I mean French money. What would I be doing with French money? That reminds me. We got to change all our American dollars into French francs. Hey, when is the bank closed? Uh, four o'clock, monsieur. Four o'clock? We We're going to be late. Come on, Norton, right. get the rest. Yeah. Hello? Hello, I would like to talk to Pierre. Oui. Hello, Pierre. Pierre, this is Henri. Oui. I have a couple of suckers for you. Americans? Who else? Oui. They want to change dollars into francs. Bring plenty of francs. They are very rich. Oui. Well, if you don't have enough, print some more. Oui. We are in suite, 21, 22, 23. Oui. Bring what you have, but hurry. Oh, you still here? Oh, oui, monsieur, oui. Uh, pardon, monsieur, but... Uh, uh. I could not help to overhear you say that you wish to change American dollars into francs, n'est-ce pas? Yeah. Well, uh, you would be foolish to go to the bank. You could do much better. You mean you could give us a better rate of exchange? But, of course. Hey, Norton! Ah. This guy here says that uh, when we change our money, instead of going to the bank, he can give us a better rate of exchange. Oh, hey, hey, that's all right, Ralph. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't you remember we was told not to make any exchange of money except at the bank? Oh, that is very smart. You must be very careful. There are many crooks about. That is why you are lucky you know me. Someone you can't trust. I am your friend. Well, it's nice to have a friend, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Will you get that at the oh, door? Yeah, so thin, hey, we fall into something. Oh, we're we? lucky. Here we are. <laughs> oh, gentlemen. You will not believe this. It is such a coincidence. <laughs> These are the very gentlemen I was telling you about. Oh. Well, it certainly is a coincidence, ain't it, Norton? Mm. Unbelievable. I was just speaking of you to them. Bonjour. Ah, uh, bonjour. Bonjour. Are you kidding me, Monsieur? And if you said, Monsieur, you have better song, and I want to see the France, all again. I want to see the France. See? What did he say? He say hello. Oh, uh, Hello to you, too. Yeah, hello. hello for me, too, to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now let's get on with this. Now, of course, uh, we can't have any business dealings with you guys unless we know who you're from. You know, what bank? Uh, well, we are from the uh, left bank. Oh, the left oh, bank. Oh, yeah, the left bank. I've heard that's a very uh, sound institution. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty good. Now, I happen to know, fellas, that I can get 350 French francs for every dollar I got. Now, what sort of a deal can you give us? Oh, je me trouve sur les Marquels, on va trouver sur les Francs, on va. Les petits chemins qui se font sans les pères, et que c'est le contraire, mais ça, les gens qui se font sans les pères, que je. Pardon. Les petits chemins, ils font sur les Francs, ça, les petits chemins, c'est juste ça. Il sait 600. 600? I got 700 dollars and it's a deal. Okay, pal. Oui. Hey, yeah, uh, pal, 700. Voila. Get a load of how skinny this load is, and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, merci. But go, it's a pleasure to do business with fellas oh, like you. Oh, merci. Oh, you can't say you're going to say American. Oh, you can't say you're going to 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 say you're going to
also say that when you are in Germany, you must look up his brother, his cousin, Felix. Yes, he will give you the same deal in Marx. Well, thank you very, very much. Oh, bonjour. 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 <laughs> How about that, Norton? How about that? Get a load of this. Are we going to live it up? Oh, Alice! Dixie! Come on out of here, Alice! What is it, Ralph? Oh, uh... <laughs> I was just wondering what you'd do if you had as much money to spend as you'd like. Oh, what would I do? Yeah. Oh, Ralph, I'd go out and I'd find myself the most expensive couturier in Paris. Me too. Now, it's not necessary to get the most expensive couturier in Paris. You can get just as good a meal in one of those little side street restaurants. <laughs> A couturier isn't a restaurant, it's a dressmaker. Well, they got good ones in side streets, too. That's right, enough for a couturier to do. Well, Trix, how would you like to go out and uh, buy yourself a few trickens? <laughs> how would you like that, my dear? That's for you. Oh. I'll keep this. Oh, boy, Paris, here we go. <laughs> We're going bye, bye, bye. We're all on a three. We're going to buy, buy, buy our Paris. And the hats are very chic, huh? Trixie, if you're able, buy a lot of sable. You need a different coat for every night of the week. We're gonna buy a barrel full of Chanel because we like to have it around. And as for diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and pearls, we're gonna buy them by the pound. I really think we ought to call up Christian Dior and tell him that we think we're gonna buy the store. What does that mean, Norton? I don't know. I read it on a perfume bottle. <laughs> Boy, you kill me. <laughs> We're going bye, 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 as quick as can be. We're going to paint the town of Marine. We're going to live a little dangerously, because it's the kind of life for me. Oh, first we'll take a taxi to the Folie Bergère. Oh, but the taxi driver knows the way. Wait until we go there. Boy, they got to show that. I understand the scenery is really okay. We're we got to find those, those little, little hideaway spots that all the guidebooks fail to show. We're going to be the first to enter the joint and be the last, last to go. We may not speak the language of this beautiful land, but certain things a guy can always understand. We're on the root ways of the root in a pain. When we do Paris, let's go! There's only one good way to visit Paris If you would like to do it upright You gotta spend all day just sleeping away So you can see Paris all night Go tell the operator not to leave us a call In fact, I doubt that we'll be coming home at all We'll be the blue ways of the Ruby La Pay Just my pal and me A pair of bumpy mods
Americans, uh, could we have the best table in the house? Yes, if you yeah, am, but of course you'll have thank the best you. table in the house. Thank you very much. Right here, thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Merci bien. Yeah, merci merci to you. Mergy, mergy. Zippa for now. Well, Norton, that'll show you what a little money will do. Oh, let me tell you, Rompy boy, money talks. I mean, if we haven't uh, given them that money, uh, we'd probably be sitting at the table back there someplace. <laughs> In America, it's ringside. In Paris, it's curbside. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, all I can tell you is we can throw our money around any way we like. With the rate of exchange they got over here, we're practically millionaires. Oh, you can say that again. Well, yes, what do you sir. say? We ordered something now. Oh, uh, a little something to eat? Well, something. All right. Right. Let's see now. Get the uh, guy here. Oh, yeah. Service. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. <laughs> What do you mean, gargoyle? That's French for waiter. Gargoyle! Gargoyle! Un moment, s'il vous plaît. Huh? What, uh, what do you mean by that? I don't know what he meant by that. I just know that gargoyle means French. Oh. Don't you know anything? Well, I admit I don't know the French that you do, but I uh, happen to know a couple other languages I'm pretty uh, fluid at. Well, what languages, for instance? Well, I used to speak a little Greek. Let me hear you speak a little Greek. A strombari. <laughs> strombari? Scocana scoster, pinapola, apola, lemon syringe uh, If I were you, I wouldn't go out in the street during the month of May. <laughs> Why not? Because that's when they gather nuts. <laughs> I, I got another one. Goosleberry. I don't want to hear any more. Uh, pardon, monsieur. Uh, Would you gentlemen care to buy some tickets for the gendarmes ball? Uh, uh, oh, when, uh, when is it? Uh, oh, in four weeks, monsieur. Four, four, four weeks? Yes. No, I'm sorry. We'll be out of Paris by then. Oh, pardonnez-moi, monsieur. That's pardon. all right. Uh, wait a minute there, gendarme. Yes. Uh, what do we care if we're not going to be in Paris? We got all these francs to spend. Besides, it's for charity. Uh, how much are those tickets there? 400 francs, monsieur. 400 francs? Give me a bag of shells. <laughs> uh, let me have 10 of them, please. Oh, 10 that's a tea, yeah. monsieur. Well, uh, well, Thank uh, you. Let's well, uh, see. That's about a half a pound. There you are. Monsieur, that is too much? Too oh, much. that's perfectly all right. It's for charity. Oh, merci, monsieur. Vous savez, ça m'est arrivé pour la première fois aujourd'hui. Merci. Yeah, Margie, yeah. Margie. Hey, club is going. Yeah. You know what? I still think you're crazy spending all that money on those tickets when you know we're not going to be in town. So what? We got plenty of money. Besides, don't you want to do anything to cement Franco-American relations? What do I care what some spaghetti company thinks of me? <laughs> boy, oh boy, this is really living, isn't it? 
Yeah, you know, Norton, who would have thought about three weeks ago that we'd be sitting on the sidewalks of Paris? I know I didn't. <laughs> I thought I'd be sitting on the sidewalks of Brooklyn. <laughs> I was having a little trouble raising some money to pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that for quite some time. <laughs> you know, it's nothing like the city of Paris for lapping up culture. Oh, you said it. Hey, speaking of lapping up culture, why don't we uh, order a little uh, bottle of wine? Uh, I'm thirsty. You've got your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get the gargoyle. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Before we order anything to drink, I'd like something to eat. I don't want to drink on an empty stomach. Well, it may take a little time to fill that up. <laughs> the bars may be closed, you know. Very funny, Norton. <laughs> now, what are you going to have? Oh, give me a banana split. <laughs> you didn't come all the way to Paris to have a banana split, did you? Well, what is wrong with that? I order French toast in Brooklyn, don't I? <laughs> You're not going to embarrass me by ordering a banana split. For one thing, they don't know how to make it here, and for two things, I don't want people around here to think we're just a couple of American tourists. Do you mind? I would yes, like I do mind. Mind. You're not tell them how to make the banana split. I don't care what you say. You'll order something in French. I don't know any French. What well, then I'll have? handle it, and I'll order it for you. Bonjour, oh. monsieur. Uh, come out in the alley of booze. Ah, monsieur, monsieur, nous sommes enchantés de vous avoir ici. Nous espérons que nous pouvons vous servir à votre satisfaction entière. Oh, don't look at me, I only speak Greek. Uh, let me tell you something, pal. I guess that uh, come out in the alley of booze uh, sort of threw you. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm not really French. I'm American. You, an American? No! <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're Americans, all right. But you speak such beautiful French. Well, I guess I come from a family of linguists. <laughs> you see, uh, I had a grandmother who was twice removed from uh, one of my cousins who married a Frenchman. Oh, then you have a little French in you. Yeah. Oh, well. sure, he's got a little French in him, uh, a little Irish in him. Uh, in fact, there's room enough in there for the whole U.N. <laughs> uh, I'd like to order for my friend and I. Hey, oui, monsieur. We'll have two of those, uh, see here, uh, glass avec chantilly. Yeah. Very good, monsieur. Two banana splits coming up. <laughs> Must be a place that caters to American tourists or something. Yeah. I'll, I'll trade is embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, what do you say we liven up the place? A little music or something. Yeah, get that strolling. Say there. Uh, hey, M M M M Yeah. Say, listen, pal, how about playing us a little French uh, music? Oh, uh, certainly, monsieur. All, All right. your money there. This is on me. Tell yeah. me, uh, uh, do you know, uh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog? Hound? <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog? That isn't a French song. Oh, oh, uh, do you know, uh, you ain't nothing but a poodle. poodle. <laughs> Look, never mind. Just play something French with a lot of ooh-la-las in it. Put that away now. This is on me. Now, here you are, my good man. Now, just make sure you play something um, very French. Mais oui, monsieur. <laughs> what about the poor people of Paris, eh? Oh, yeah. Give them a little dough, too. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't got it. worry. I will play for you something very, very French. Mergy, <laughs> mergy. <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh, Thank you very much. Cheer up, Pat. Go out and buy yourself a couple of snails. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Yes, sir. That's all. That's all. Uh, what seems to be the trouble, though, officer? Somebody has been passing counterfeit money. Oh. Counterfeit money? Mm -hmm. I offer 20,000 francs for anybody who catches the dirty crook. I'll make it 40,000 francs. All right, pal. All right, 40. gentlemen. You are under arrest. For what? For passing counterfeit money. 
But that's impossible. Come on, let's go. Ali, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I just thought of something. We're going to have a fine time explaining this to a French judge. I mean, if we was in Greece, at least I could speak the language. Oh, shut up! Hey, 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 hey. What's the matter? Is there enough room in here for you? Can I help it if you're built wall to wall? <laughs> I wish you'd stop with those stale jokes and figure some way to get us out of here. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm a little scared. What are you scared about? What can they do to us? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. I don't know what they can do uh, to you for passing counterfeit money. Maybe we'll get the chair. Oh, boy. They don't give you the chair in France, they give you the guillotine. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about the guillotine with that head. They'll use a nutcracker. <laughs> hey, Rob, who is there in the wall here? They'll never hold me in here. The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh. <laughs> Gordon, we gotta get out of here. I got it. If we can't get out legally, let's just bust out of here, you know, make an escape. How are you gonna escape from here? I got it, I got it. I seen this in a movie once. Wait a minute. Okay. Get the sheets there. Hold one in there. Now, we take one end of the sheet here. Yeah. Tie a strong knot. I recommend a square knot in this one here. Now, take the other end. Toss it out the window, see? Like that. Way down there. Then attach this other end here, which you'll notice I do with a bowline. See? Then? All we gotta do, slip through the bars, slide down the sheet to the street. you mind going over that again for me? <laughs> sure. Get the sheets, two sheets off in the bed, square out one end, one over here, throw it down there, tie your bowline down there, then just slip through the bars. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> <laughs> how serious this is. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just look on the bright side. Let's calm down. Let's get a hold of the embassy or the ambassador or somebody and get a message to them and get some legal help here. That's real smart. Call the American ambassador, huh? Do we speak French? How are we going to get the guard to understand that we want to call the American embassy? Uh, I, I got it. Yeah. I, I got, we'll speak to him in the language of the international nations. The act of sign language. We'll act out the message just like, uh, like in at the game charades. How about what have you got? <laughs> have you got a piece of paper and a pencil? Hey, I got a little pad. All right, now look. Let's mark down a sentence that we want to tell him through the acting out. Yeah. Now make it a short sentence and concise. To Very point. plain so we can give it to him. Right. All right, now uh, first we want to say... Uh, we're Americans. We, we are. are Americans. We yeah, Americans. Yeah, we, we Americans. Uh, Americans. Now, what hey, else Americans. do we want to say? Uh, uh, I got it. No. Now you got to tell us uh, where we're from. We're Americans from some from Brooklyn. <laughs> now, why should we tell them we're from Brooklyn? Well, it don't hurt to do a little bragging at this point. <laughs> All right, we'll do a little bragging. Right, now look, right. put down that we won the flaky wakey trip right. around the yeah. world contest. Put we that down. So I know who we are. The flaky, flaky trip wakey around the world contest. Trip around. Also put down. The we world. came over here by boat. Came over by boat. Wait a minute. Put that Let's down. Wait. We came, came over by boat. Over put down. Put down. Uh, we're boat. we're framed. Boat. We got framed. We were, we're framed. We were framed. Put down. We're innocent. Hey, wait a minute. Frame. We're innocent. M. 
Right. M E D. We're in. Now put down. Call the American ambassador. Good. Call. Here, I'll write it down. Call the guard. Uh, all right. What are you doing? I'm calling a guard in sign language. What are you calling? Oh, we're not playing it yet. Hey, hey, hey! Keep, ah! Keep her up the back, Neil. Ah! Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Hold this, hold this. Oh, oh! Oh, my, oh, my. Oh, oh! Ah! 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 ah. Ah! 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 All right, give me the first one. Uh, we. We. Uh. We! 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 Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Hey, you want nothing but a hound dog? <laughs> From Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. Uh, the Dodgers. Everybody knows the Dodgers. Throw me one. All right. Dodgers. 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 What are you doing? Flake, 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 uh, mouse, ee, ee, wakey, ee. Wake mouse, got, got it. Trip around the world. Trip Let's, around the world. Uh, I got it, I got it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> around the world. Around the world. Yeah, he got it right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we. Oh, we. Yeah. We. Ah, yeah. we. Came over by boat. The boat. Boat. Nice. Boat. Boat. Got it. Got it. Boat. We. We're we. innocent. Yeah. We frame. Oh, frame. Frame. Uh, we're frame. Uh, Make a frame. Frame. Got it. Nice. Good. Innocent. innocent. We're innocent. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Got it. Innocent. Got it. Got it. Uh, call. Call. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Uh, hello, hello there. Oh, uh, got it. Call, phone. Call, phone. All right. We, American, American here. Hey, 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 American. Woo! Right. Yeah. Ambassador. 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 Oh. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah. All right. Do you understand? Certainly. <laughs> uh, you two gentlemen are Americans from uh, Brooklyn. You won the flaky wakey trip uh, around the world. You came over here on a boat. Uh, you were framed, uh, you are innocent, you wish me to call the American ambassador. That, Norton, is what you call a snake. <laughs> Just wait till I get a hold of that. 
that Mike Stokey. Hey. Hey, Ralph, come to some. It's the girls. Alice and Trixie. Oh. Boy, Alice, Trixie, are we glad to see you. Uh, we got to warn you, don't spend any of that money we gave you. Oh, stop it. being stupid. They know it's counterfeit. That's why they're in here. What's the excuse this time, Ralph? Well, how did I know it was counterfeit? I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. I am really fed up this time, Ralph. One, two, three, four. I'm so mad that I can't even count to ten. Thinking of the grief we have to take from them. Bullies, selfish, arrogant, impossible. Because they're men. 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 Ah, shit. You're wise, a pair of clever guys. You gotta have an angle up your sleeve. I could say that you're insane if you only had a brain. But you're nothing but a knucklehead, a 14 carat knucklehead, a scatterbrain, a maniac, a nincompoop, a dizzy whack, a bag of wind. That's you. Now, let me tell you something. You yell, you nag, you always say I brag. Believe me, you can be an awful pain. You do nothing but complain. You're a real ball and chain. And you always gotta tear me down. You're happy when you wear me down. You aggravate and irritate, exasperate, intimidate. A bag of bold. That's you. Tell them, Ralphie boy. Uh, don't worry, my boy. My sentiments, you very well express. It's time we got this whole thing off our chest. It seems to me. Well, who asked you? Not just a minute. Who needs you? That did it. You yell, you nag, you always say I pray. I don't believe me, you can be an awful pain. You do nothing but complain. You're a couple of balls and chains. And you always gotta tear it down. You're happy when you wear it down. You aggravate and irritate, exasperate, intimidate. You're not a lad. Who are you? Uh, George Durgan was the name, friend. Oh. I am the Paris representative of the Flaky Wakey Company, and I've come here to help you. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gee, how did you know we were here? Well, now... I phoned Mr. Durgan as soon as Trixie and I were arrested. That's right, little lady dear. Now, I don't want you folks to worry. I'll have you out of here before you can say, Flaky Wakey is delicious, nutritious, and it sticks to the ribs like canicious. <laughs> 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 That's a joke. Laugh it up, son. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, you mean that uh, we're free now? You are as free as the gifts in our packages. So come on, let's get going, oh, boys. Let's follow me. Come on. I'd like to say I think that you're okay. There's no one quite as marvelous as you. Oh, I'm glad that you are mine. And that things have turned out fine. And we'll always stick together, dear. No matter what the weather, dear. You're kissable, you're lovable, adorable, remarkable. You're wonderful. That's you. Toast? 
that we let bygones be bygones, forget the whole incident in the jail, That's and right. enjoy ourselves here in Paris. <laughs> All I'll drink right, to that. Ralph. Here we go. I mean, uh, go ahead, drink. I got something to tell you. Well, wait, Ralph. You have to make me one promise first. What? That from now on, please, you'll try to keep out of trouble. <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying I get into trouble. You too, Ed. Please don't no, get into trouble. All right, all trouble. right. I don't think uh, that we should regret the uh, time we spent in jail. I mean, after all, that means uh, next year we got a reason for celebrating Bastille Day. <laughs> hey! Hi! Hi! Ah! So? So you guys thought you were going to get a Whitman, huh? Passing off counter minute mid money on us, huh? And getting away with it? You've got some case. Take the evidence, Norton. Ken Dogs! Ten dimes? All right, go ahead. Explain the whole thing to them. Give me the other one. 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 Well, did they explain? He certainly did. You are trying to pass counterfeit money again. Wait a minute. We're not trying to pass any counterfeit money. You can explain yourself. Wait a minute. Well, this has been our second attempt at a musical comedy each week, and we certainly hope you enjoyed it. What? Thank you. How about a right hand for our county, Audrey Meadows, Joyce Randolph, and Martin Green? Also, I would like to give credit to Andy Russell and Sid are two very, very fine writers. They have written this show that we presented this week in only a few days. And believe me, they were real great. You know, I want to give Sid so much credit that I can't think of his last name, and I refuse to go off just to appear like I know everything without getting it. What's his last name? Sid Zelenka. See, I didn't forget. <laughs> you know, with the lyrics and everything, you nag, you yell, you got to run around. <laughs> but Sid Zelenka and Andy Russell, thank you very much. Also, thanks to Marvin Marks, and uh, Wallace Stone, and uh, Herb Finn, and good night, every oh, and Ray Block, our orchestra leader. Nice to have a Ray. <laughs> Lynn Duddy and Jerry Fletcher, who wrote the score. Good luck to them, and good night, everybody. <laughs> Next week, the makers of all those filters, the best taste yet in the filter cigarettes, will bring you the Jackie Gleason Show. Executive producer, Jack Groban. Producer, Jack Hurdle. Director, Frank Sassenstein. Assistant producer, Stanley Fox. Writer, Marvin Marks, Walter Stone, Herbert Finn. Original music and lyrics by Lynn Duddy and Jerry Breslin. Writing supervision, Joe Bigelow. Choreography, June Taylor. Musical director, Ray Block. Settings designed by Richard Richterick. Additional lighting by Bird Manning. Couturier by Tom Mack and Brownell.